What's going on folks? Welcome back to some more videos and I'm here bringing you my very first video in my Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle Character Guide series and I'm kicking it off with Ruby Rose. The purpose of this set of videos is to help beginners and really anybody who would like to learn a character in BB Tag to kind of give you guys the knowledge and the character moves and utilities and you know general information that you'll need in order to successfully learn the character and be able to put him or her and anywhere on any team. We'll be looking at the character's move set, how to utilize them, giving a brief overview on how to use them in a match. We'll also be taking a look at some synergy teams. So we're going to include some characters that will go well with the said character that we're learning in the video to give you some idea as to how to team build and give you some strategies as to what you, you can do when you're building your own team. These set of guides I'll be doing live with no fancy editing. Nothing like no schmucking around. It's just going to be you, me, and the game. And you, to be honest, I kind of sort of prefer this way because it feels like I'm actually talking to you guys and I'm showing you guys specifically on how to play the game instead of just me showcasing the character or the game in the video format so I kind of like it this way just let me know in the comment section down below if you do prefer this way if you prefer any other way and I'll try to see if I can improve this these tutorials in any way shape or form I also would like to point out that for these type of videos and any other of my anime fighting game videos I'll be using the number pad notation system to explain combos and specific moves lots of people have already asked me to make a video explaining the number pad notation system but there's so many videos out there already explaining it that if I do my own, I don't feel like I will do so, as such a good job as the other people that have already made those videos. So I'll tell you what, here's what I'll do. I'm going to link you guys in the description down below to my favorite video and the video that I feel like explains the number pad notation system the best. And you guys will learn from that video. Come on back over here and then you can definitely get caught up and be ready to go as soon as these videos go up. Okay. Link is in the description down below. Get learning guys you will need to learn the number not notation system to learn anime games all right now without further ado let's get started let's learn some ruby rose all right guys here we are in the bootleg training mode in the beta slash demo we have the play versus player 2 mode with a additional pad and I have Yukiko here in case she does get low on health I can heal up with her reversal and that you can take her up all the way to full health and you'll be able to start over this is probably the most efficient way to do training mode without actually having the full release now there's tons and tons of memes of Yukiko hashtag free Yukiko from training room you know but for the most part hashtag not yet because the game isn't here we need to train so here we are we have Ruby here and I want to be showing you, like I said, we we're saying before, everything about Ruby. This is a Ruby character guide and we're going to be going over everything about Ruby and uh, kind of digesting her and everything. Not digesting. Is it digesting? Dissecting. Oh my god. So, let's take a look at her assists first of all. So, so you, in case you do have another character with Ruby in the back, you guys will be able to know which assists you'll be able to do and what how to utilize them essentially. So, here we are and we have her back assist and her back assist is this uppercut move that she has which is the third hit of her smart combo. It's mostly used for combo extensions but because of its short range that it has, and it really isn't too effective other than in the corner. So her next assist is her neutral assist and her neutral assist it's a lot better than her back one because she lunges forward at you here it is right here and kind of props them up into the air being able to extend your combos for your point character and because it moves forward there's a lot of combos in this game that really push your opponent far away as soon as you're done with them but so uh, being unable to kind of extend your combo but because ruby's assist kind of pushes her forward or she lunges forward and props them up into the air it gives you more than enough time to be able to extend it so for example with wise like that oh whoops i've dropped the combo but you get the idea so it kind of like props them up into the air you're going to keep extending the combo it's really really good i think it's super fast too so you can be able to convert like really quickly off your feet so it's really i think is her best assist her other assist is of course her forward assist and this is her rifle shot assist she shoots a very quick right it's really fast actually this is one of her the fastest projectiles in the game in my opinion it's super quick it's rifle shot 
it covers your approach so if you want to get on your, on your opponent you're able to just fire off a rifle shot or if you just want to fill up your diamonds really quick without really risking ruby too much you can just use her rifle shot assist like a lot you can just spam this and to be able to go in on your opponent and to be able to quickly fill up your diamonds so you can get level 4 resonance plays so that's I think this was a really good assist for that purpose so now that we got the assist out of the way, let's take a look at her normals, which are essentially just her regular moves that she has. And all of them have utilization. So let's take a look at her 2A. And she's one of the few characters that have, or alongside the Persona 4 and the Unio characters, that can do a low jab-like attack. It's really quick, really fast. It does a, has a pretty good amount of range, actually. One of, the, one of the better 2As that I've seen in any fighting game, really. And because of that, she's able to really poke at your opponent and, and be able to kind of harass them because you can stagger pressure be, and differentiate between 2A, 5A, just like that on block. So for example, let's have the, the computer blocking here. So with, with the Yukiko blocking here, you can just kind of like poke them out and harass them like that. It has really good range, like I was saying, so it's really good like that. And like I was saying, her 5A, her 5A has like a really good amount of range. Like it's, that's a really good 5A, like holy crap. She uses the whole handle. It's really strong. 2A, 5A, I think one of Ruby's best normals, of course. But speaking of best normals, she also has her 5B, which is this crazy like scythe move that she has. Man, it's super quick. Not only that, but it has a ton of range. And because of that, she is able to kind of really play a, a good neutral game and a good space spacing game. So and not only that, but on block, when your opponent is blocking just like this, you are able to jump cancel on block. So if they do end up blocking the 5B, you can you can jump up in the air and then go for a jump in to continue pressure. So that's a that's a super huge plus. So really good. 5B is incredibly good. I really like it. It's one of my favorite moves with uh, Ruby because I'm able to kind of dominate the, the neutral game with it. And alongside that, there's also 2B. 2B has head invul, and she also gets really low to the ground, which makes it a super good anti-air. And of course, it is jump cancelable on block and on hit, so you're able to get any any combo you want if you do end up anti-airing with it. It's a super good anti-air and has a really good horizontal, not horizontal, vertical hitbox. So it's really, really strong. Alongside that, there's also 5C, which is, of course, everybody's universal overhead. Now, with the Ruby characters, it's a jumping attack. It goes actually pretty pretty far. I, I didn't expect it to go that far. And you can't control how far you go, but it is safe on block. So just to kind of show this off, you are able to block this standing because it's a universal overhead, but you are not able to punish it if you do end up blocking it. You do have the advantage, however, because it is minus and you have more, less frame advantage as the Ruby player to when when you do this so that means your turn is over and it's about time to give it up to yukiko you're taking a risk to get an overhead and if they block it they basically get rewarded by taking their turn back so that's how that works and there's also 2c which is of course a universal 2c uh, universal sweep i mean so everybody has this but it is just a regular sweep it has a pretty decent amount of range but not as much as like for example 5b which is okay but it's a really good low. I really like it. So, and there's also JC. JC, let's go over the air normals, really. So, JC, uh, which is this move right here. It's basically the same move as regular 5C. But it is up in the air and it doesn't go into an ov the overhead animation. Uh, it's just a regular overhead blast. So, it's super good in the corner because you're able to convert off this and get a really good amount of damage. So... To be able to kind of mix up your opponent with 2A, which is a low, versus JC, which is an overhead, you can really mix them up high-low. So in the corner, you can get like things like, like crazy combos like that, and I kill them. But anyways, that's that. Let's go back into the training mood. So back to it here. Yeah, so the JC button is super good for uh, an overhead option. You can also use this in the, the mid-screen, but you do have to use an assist in the mid-screen. Just like that. It is special cancelable, by the way. Like we were saying before. It's super It's super good. I, I really like JC. I think it's one of the better JCs in the game. So, let's move on to her JB. 
her JB, which is a really good jump in attack, a really good approaching tool to jump up in the air and press JB because it does cross up. So your opponent has to guess whether you're going to stay on the same side or if you're going to cross up and go behind them. So you either or the opponent has to choose whether, which way to block and that makes it really good. Any character with a cross up button is always a good thing and any cross up button is a very good button. So JB, super good, and then JA, which is more of a, instead of a kind of vertical hitbox where it's going down, it's just straight, it's straight up like a very good horizontal range, which is really good for air to airs. If you try to meet your opponent up in the air, it's really good. And by the way, this also crosses up, I think, uh, let's see if I can get it. It's a little bit trickier because... Yeah, there we go. It doesn't like angle down as much as JB, but it does cross up. It has a really good hitbox. JA is super good, but JB is your option if you want to jump in on your opponent and go and try to get in and get some damage in. With that being the case, let's also look, take a look at her smart combos to see what they look like. This is her 5 AAA, completely just A auto combo. It does about 3600 damage to the character and it ends up with you being full screen and you doing like this that lunging move which is her assist move that we were talking about earlier and you can convert off of this with an assist of course so like i wasn't able to get it that way but you are able to cancel it into a assist but you cannot cancel it into a special move or a distortion so once you use that auto combo and the ender for that auto combo, you're completely done. You cannot do anything else. Not even in Resonance Blaze, which is known for special canceling into a uh, distortion, you aren't able to do that. You're completely done if you end up finishing the combo with that crazy dash attack that she does. So there's the A auto combo. The B auto combo is probably one of the most useful B auto combos in the game because it launches up in the air. And it does a pretty good chunk of damage as well. Plus, it's a starter for 5B, which is, like I said, that really long range button that she has. So it's really good. And you can set up some air combos like that with uh, the launcher. So you can do all sorts of things with the B auto combo launcher. It's one of the better smart combos in the game. It's super good. All right, with those out of the way, let's take a look at her special moves. She does have a really good amount of special moves, especially some that can zone and some that can cause some crazy shenanigans, which is what makes her really fun. So let's take a look at her zoning tools. She has the rifle shot, and the rifle shot is super quick, super fast. It does have a hefty amount of recovery, so be careful with this move when you do use it up close. And for any, any characters that have projectile invincible special moves or projectile invincible supers they can blast through this projectile completely so be careful with that but it is quick i suggest using this when you're full screen because it is quick it can catch the opponent off guard and, and so so on and so forth and then there's also tide pod shot which is she puts the rifle down she does two heavy blasts it does do a pretty good healthy chunk of damage look at that pretty good chunk of damage right there and the when she puts down the scythe that does have a hitbox just like that so you can use this like for combos like that that was all a combo there using the tide pod shot and the 5a auto combo so with that being said those are her zoning tools uh, her rifle shot is probably the better one this one right here the tide pod shot is uh, has a lot of recovery and a lot of startup so you can get jumped in super easily so i suggest using her rifle shot more than anything else because the rifle shot is super quick and doesn't have too much not as much recovery as the tide pod shot so i suggest using that for sure this this is the best zoning tool that she has so next up is of course the and of course with this game this game does have ex moves and uh there is no ex there's no ex shot but there is something called guillotine and this is the guillotine right here it's like this really cool special move it is safe on block you can't really punish it not that i know of at least it's really good it does cost a meter so it's sometimes it's not as worth it as you think but it is used for bringing in your opponent uh with an active switch like that and continue on your pressure it's pretty cool i like utilizing it like that yeah there's a lot of other utilizations as well experiment with it however you please but that's ex guillotine all right and then, of course, there's her quarter circle back moves. By the way, EX Guillotine is quarter circle forward uh, with a C. Now, to move on to her quarter circle back moves, this is her teleport. And her teleport is a very unique teleport because it has a hitbox on it. So, wherever she 
teleports right in front of her or behind her there's going to be a hitbox depending on which strength that you use so if you use quarter circle back a she's going to leave a hitbox in front of her so she teleports behind she uses the momentum of her shooting forward to propel her backwards and that becomes a hitbox and same thing goes with uh, her going forward she leaves a hitbox behind her and come and dashes forward and then of course there's the one where you shoot up straight up in the air so the one course to go back is she shoots backwards or she teleports backwards course to go back b is she shoots forward but you can do crazy shenanigans like that like call in an assist and then teleport behind and go for some cross-ups so that's where she her dirty shenanigans kind of come into play course to go back c she launches up straight up in the air now this is where things get kind of nutty that she can use these teleports after twice more after the initial teleport so for example if she does the course to go back a you can press b and then a again if you want to just like that and it's not motion wise it is a it's not a motion thing it's just pressing the button so you gotta, you gotta press a b a and you get these and you can differentiate between all of them so you can do a c b it's really really cool so so b a c so it's really it's it's kind of nutty so bam 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 and you can get some crazy shenanigans going now if you're up in the air you do the exact same thing forward backwards forward same strengths now but the c version you go straight down so you can do for some crazy crazy shenanigans like that it's it's kind of cool uh how they're able to do stuff like that so anyways and the last special move that I want to show you guys was the Buzzsaw Blast, which is probably one of her best special moves because it is safe and it is a really good approaching tool, which is really strange, but it's this move right here. It's really, really strong because you don't know where it's going. And depending on which strengths that you have, you can go straight down or you can go kind of like in a, in a angle. And it's really, really strong as a, as a, uh, approaching tool because people have tried to anti air this with their specials and it ended up clashing there's so many hits in this move that it ends up clashing the only way to really deal with this move is to dp it straight out in the air and sometimes you might get unlucky and completely end up eating the rest of the hits or even clashing with the hits which is interesting but for the most part this move is incredibly good because once you reach the ground it's safe that move is safe the light version is safe it is a mid, so you don't have to block this high, but it is safe, the light version. The, uh, the medium version, I've seen people punish it by push blocking and then doing a super, so I thought that was really clever. But for the most part, it's a really good approach tool because you can just throw in your assist and you're basically in. So it's just like, it's really good. She throws herself out into this crazy spinning attack that you cannot stop. So it's pretty, it's pretty funny looking. But anyways, Buzzsaw Blast is super good. Now that we've gone over her special moves, let's go over her distortions, and her distortions are a really good set of distortions that she has. She has Pedal Burst, which is her core circle forward B and C, which is this right here. It is Projectile Invincible, and it does a really good hefty chunk of damage as well. That is also her Clash combo, or I think that's what it's called, or Clash Assault, which is when she comes in as the secondary distortion, like for example, when Weiss uses her distortion, and then you press the tag button, or the skill button, I'm sorry, to be able to tag in your other character to be able to do another super uh, or distortion. So that's her distortion no matter what when you come in as a secondary distortion. There's also there's that one and there's Pedal Dance and Pedal Dance is, I think, her best one because it has a good amount of chip and resonance blaze. But this is her other super. It's really, really cool looking and I think it's the most damaging of the two as well. So this is your damage distortion. So here we are again. I'm actually gonna have Yukiko throw a fan and then We're gonna have uh, Yukiko throw out a fan which is a projectile and I'm gonna be supering the projectile I'm gonna go right through it And just like that it can punish any projectile that throws at her and it does a good, a good amount of damage to it too and then there's of course pedal dance and pedal dance is extremely good with the uh, damage all right, and I also wanted to kind of show off how much damage she does in, with Chip, with the Pedal Dance. With Pedal Dance, it's ridiculously, like, crazy good. Look at the Chip damage that she does in Resonance Blaze level 4. It's absolutely crazy. 
And that's pretty much it for the distortions, but of course there's always that one other thing that we keep forgetting, and it's of course her astral, and her astral is this one right here. And it's down, 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 B and C. Right, and then we'll also let's talk about her grabs and her grabs are pretty self-explanatory they're really good you can combo off of them super easily they land right in front of you and you can do just the most basic of combos I've already seen bunch a bunch of combo videos or just other combos where you can just incorporate like stuff like this yeah so you, you get the gist so there's lots of combo possibilities with Ruby with her grab it's super good you can do the even most basic thing like grab them and do 5A 5B and then go for buzzsaw blast afterwards super simple or even go with even simpler than that and using an assist of course you can grab them do buzzsaw blast doing assist and then continue on with the combo so her grabs are extremely good and just it's good in general I think grabs are going to be really strong in this game uh, just because of there's going to be setups with the run-up grab. <laughs> so if you know how grabs work in this game, you know what I mean. Anyways, uh, grabs, her grab is super good. Because you can combo off of it basically anywhere. And it's super simple. Next, let's talk about team synergy with Ruby. Now, this is a pretty hot topic. But I'll say right now that Ruby doesn't really particularly need any specific characters. Other than if you want the characters to have a special intro. So... She does really well by herself, and she really carries herself really well. She's overall a super strong, solid character, so she doesn't need anybody in particular to be able to uh, do anything too astounding or to kind of compensate for any of her weaknesses. I think everybody can can kind of help her out in that aspect. But there is other characters out there that can do the job better than others. And let's talk about those characters. The first one is of course Weiss. I think Weiss is really good with her assist with Ruby because not only does she have a some sort of a projectile assist that it, it, it's, it's pretty slow, but it is an assist, so whatever. But what she really shines at is she can really extend her combos and she can also enhance her teleport shenanigans. So for example, if you're pressuring, you can really like get some shenanigans going with with Ruby and Weiss because seriously these her shenanigans can be kind of ridiculous and if you slap Weiss out there with her really fast assist yeah she can really put the hurting on a few characters like that so she's really good at that of course so I think Weiss does really well with Ruby and I think Weiss does, uh, well, Ruby does well with Weiss, and then vice versa, Weiss does really well with Ruby. That's the main theme of these four characters that I'm about to name because they really complement each other and they do really well with each other's assists. The other character that I think she does extremely well with is, of course, Gordo, and you can't really go wrong with Gordo with that crazy Grim Reaper assist, of course. It's a really good lockdown assist and a good kind of get-off-me assist that can reach almost full screen. It's super strong for extending combos and it's super strong for locking the opponent down. Like, you can do, like, for example, you can do, like, some crazy, some crazy, like, overhead into low, or you can do, like, Grim Reaper and then go for an overhead. Yeah, so he really, like, does really well with locking down and with uh, extending combos. He just does everything. His assist is really good. And in particular, Gordo does really well with Ruby assist as well. So Gordo is, of course, a very good partner to choose when you're picking up Ruby. S is also an incredibly good partner for Ruby. Not only do they have a special interaction, just like Weiss and Gordo, but she also has one of the best projectile assists in the game, in my opinion, as of right now with the beta and also really good combo extension assist so overall it really brings out a lot of ruby's strengths and it really covers her approach which is what she needs to be able to succeed and kind of get in on the opponents it's really really good i think this team is strong not only because of the projectiles but like i said the combo extensions and you can really do a lot of cool conversions in the in the, in the mid screen and like for example like this one so you can do stuff like that like convert off of a any any hit really and it's a really good combo extender just uh, so to speak so s is really good for ruby last but not least let's talk about rachel not only is rachel one of the best characters in this game right now but she has some of the best assists in this game as well and not only that they all all enhance ruby's strengths 
everything about Ruby gets better with Rachel because not only does she have a really good projectile assist that's really annoying and that can really cover her approach because there's two of them so there's really nowhere you can go and they're going to be hitting you one way or another in some in cer certain circumstances but she also has a lockdown assist that can really you enhance her mix-up options like her 2a and her jc and not only that but she can also blow up these little rods right here which give her some crazy shenanigans with her teleports like that it's crazy. She is an incredibly good partner for, for Ruby. This team in particular, I think, is one of the better teams in this game. If you really want to learn Rachel Ruby, this is an incredibly good team. Because not only all those things, but they have an, a sick intro together. Team Rose for the win. Overall, my thoughts on the character is she is an incredibly solid, great character. She is incredibly good top five in my opinion she has everything that going on for her she has great special moves great approaching tools she has great spacing tools great normals amazing hitboxes shenanigans mix-ups combos damage great distortions you name it she has everything there's nothing that this character can't do in my opinion and to be honest with the characters coming out they're, they're going to be going along great with her and vice versa with them so if you want to pick up Ruby, I highly suggest so because she is incredibly good. If you don't want to pick her up, I suggest like having a pocket Ruby because I feel like everybody's going to be playing Ruby in this game because she is incredibly good, super popular, super cool, and extremely good. So overall, extremely good. I suggest picking her up right away. Anyways, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you all for watching, of course. Uh, I'm going to be doing a combo section right now but i want to sign off before i do that the combo section will have some notations so you guys can learn the combos that i'm going to be doing on screen of course uh but anyways thank you all for watching follow me on twitter if you guys want to keep up with the channel or with myself follow the, the this channel right here subscribe to the channel if you want to see more bb tag guides let me know in the comment section down below if i what how i did here if i if you want you guys want to learn more information or a specific amount of information on what to do or anything else so i can make these character guides better for the next one i can make it even better so let me know in the comment section down below some feedback on what i can do better in these guides this is my first one so i'm really excited to be starting off this series let me know have a good rest of your day guys enjoy the combos